Just hours before auto workers get ready to report, Ford has announced President Trump will be paying its Ypsilanti plant a visit. The president will visit Ford's Rossonville plant on Thursday. It's part of his tour thanking businesses producing PPE and medical equipment. After nearly two months, tens of thousands of line workers will go back to work at all three automakers. But the return to work comes with new major safety precautions. Victor Williams is live outside Fiat Chrysler's Warren plant with what workers should expect tomorrow. Victor. Yeah, that's right, Steve. We're just a few hours away from the expected reopening of these three major auto manufacturing plants. As you guys can see behind me, the folks here at Fiat Chrysler, they already have the tents out there with the words, let's restart right above. And lots of people, the workers, are going to have to have new protocols when entering the building from now on. This one protects me from this person. After multiple months on hiatus, it looks like production will be back on at General Motors, Fiat Chrysler Automotive, and Ford. My business career of 26 years being a CEO never in other crises dealt with the economy turning off. However, as we all continue to somewhat bounce back from the COVID-19 pandemic, you'll find a few cautious changes taking place inside of every single plant. And uh, you, you and I are working here, we're good. Workers on the assembly line will no longer be in close proximity because of social distancing. Upon arrival at Ford, workers will be subject to a no-touch temperature scan. Epidemiologists are telling us this is one of the biggest issues that we've got to pay attention to. So because we have these huge factories, you know, I'm talking about two to three million square feet of space, there's a lot of room to actually think about doing this the right way. At GM, several similar protocols have been put into place. There will also be more time in between shifts to allow disinfecting. Face shields or masks, of course, will be required as well. If I came to work and I was sick without knowing it, if I were to cough or sneeze, it would be coughed into the mask that I'm wearing, thus protecting you. Lastly, over at Fiat Chrysler, thousands of workstations have already been redesigned to make things safer. Thermal imaging cameras have also been installed to verify everyone's body temperature. As of right now, it's expected to be smooth sailing. Where our coronavirus safety protocols have been in place, we have not seen a confirmed case of community spread in our facilities. And the union for these auto workers sent us this statement in regards to the reopening, which in part reads the UAW would continue to do everything we can to protect the health and safety of all members as plants reopen. We will continue to be vigilant in protecting the health and safety of our members, their families and their communities as we will continue to advocate for as much testing as possible and full testing as it becomes available. You can read that full statement on our website. Click on Detroit. In the meantime, we are live in Warren. Victor Williams, Local 4. A lot of good steps to keep people safe. Thank you, Victor.